Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our final four-box random team break of 2018 Panini Contenders Football. This is random team break number 15. Uh, in this break, for just for the people in break 15, you'll have a shot at an SB53 square. And in a separate video after this, I'm going to take all the names from the case, breaks 13, 14, and 15, and randomize those three lists, and the name on top will get a $500 mixer spot for the uh, 101 box mixer that we have on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check out all the details there. It's a great mixer. Um, all right, so for break 15, thank you to these folks for getting into the action. All teams are in. And let's randomize each list two and a four six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The Superb Owl Square spot will be a different randomizer at the end of the break, just like it's break credit. Darren down to Dal uh, Dallas? Nicholas. I don't know where I got Dallas, Nick. Two and a four, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, we've got KC down to Pitt. All right, Darren, you have the Chiefs. Tom Richard with the Redskins. Michael Gallucci with the Jets, Jets, Jets. David Duffy, Niners and Falcons. Michael with the Cowboys. Tony with the Jags. Aaron with the Raiders. Vipple with the Saints. Reggie, you got the Packers. Broncos for Patrick K. D. Porter with the Cardinals. Sean Cole, Porter, Bengals. Darren Porter with the Buccaneers. Sean Cole with the Vikings. David with the Bills. Darren with the Dolphins. Josh Proust with the Titans. Darren McKenzie with the Panthers. Brian Crouch, Bears. Kevin Crouch, Lions. Vipple with the Colts, Steve Locke with the Browns, Anthony with the Chargers, CPA with the Ravens, Lucas Snow with the Eagles, Michael, Last Spot Mojo, Texans, and you also have the Patriots, Tony with the Giants, Nicholas with the Seahawks, Kyle with the Rams, and Nicholas with the Steelers. Let's sort by column B, let's alphabetize by team. And we've got Lions for Colts, maybe. Vipple's looking Colts Packers. Colts are in demand. Pats for Steelers, perhaps? Mr. Casper? And here are our final four boxes right here with the Wolverine scratches so you know that they're from the same case. We don't have any, I don't think we have any more contenders football, so thanks everybody. We did a ton of that stuff. We may get another case or two in the near future, so keep your eyes open on jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, Packers up for trade in general, Raiders up for trade. Finns and Bucks are up for trade. Says Mr. Porter. All right, looks like a lot of trade chatter, but no one's pulling the trigger on a trade. Trade window closed. Let's print, let's rip. Good luck, everybody. All right, so here we go. The official printout. 
Thanks, everybody, for getting into this break. Really appreciate it. Appreciate everybody spending a bit of their weekend with Jaspies. You can spend seven nights a week with Jaspies, ladies and gentlemen. We're on seven nights a week. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter, at Jaspies Breaks. That'll give you the times when we go on air. Good luck, everybody. Now, Reggie, be, just before we started this uh, this recording, I brought up an interesting question. Who is uh, Who do you think is going to be in the Super Bowl, not this year, but next year? Obviously, we know who the Super, who's in the Super Bowl this year. Who's got the best shot at the Super Bowl next year? I, I, th- I think there was a... Sean Cole was like, I'm not a Patriots fan, but man, I think it's going to be the Patriots. Reggie thinks Tom Brady's going to retire if they if they win. I'm thinking the Death Star just keeps rolling until Tom Brady's arm falls off. They'll, they'll get like they'll get Antonio Brown. They'll get Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> they'll shore up the defense. It'll be it'll be crazy. They'll get a replacement Gronk. They won't miss a beat there. I feel like that's just the way it'll go. And even if Tom Brady's arm falls off, I'll bet they'll fit him with a with a bionic arm. They'll they'll put a cyborg arm on him. He'll keep playing. I don't think there's any uh, there's any rules against that. There's no rules against that, right? Against getting a bionic arm. Just just sacrifice the arm of Chase Litton and put, attach it to Tom Brady. It's for D. Porter and the Chiefs, Chase Litton. Speaking of the Patriots, there's Riley McCarron. That goes to Michael Gallucci and the Pats. To sacrifice the the right arm of Riley McCarron and attach to Brady. Here's your new arm, Tom. I don't think there's any rules against that, ladies and gentlemen. It could happen. This will be a left-right randomizer. Jordan Mailata for the Eagles. That'll be for Lucas Snow. We've got Kareem Hunt. And on card autograph, Sam Darnold. Nice rookie ticket auto for Michael Gallucci and the Jets, Jets, Jets. Nice. Darren Porter was just saying a couple minutes ago that maybe Jets Rams in the Super Bowl next year. Were you being serious? I suppose he could be the man to lead them there if that were to happen. It's a nice hit, Seal Curtain. There he is. Seal Curtain with that one. And MJ Stewart for the Buccaneers. Rookie ticket autograph for Darren. Oh, right. Darren, Darren's a Jets fan. That's how you roll. D. Porter saying his uh, our new coach, our new Jets coach, is wide eyed and bushy tailed. Those are important, both.
Well, you got the quarterback. Jets need a little work. But if they could position themselves to really just strike after a, a post-Brady, possibly post-Belichick world. Jets could position themselves pretty well to get there. I thought the Jets were going to take a bigger step this year. Because I felt like the year before, in 2017... Bowles, Todd Bowles had the had the Jets playing some pretty good, some pretty good football. At least some competitive football. They didn't win a lot of games, but they were covering a lot of games. I remember, and um, I was like, all right, these guys are pretty good, you know, like quarterback and a couple things here and there. Might take it to the solid, you know, solid defense. I could take it to the next level. Didn't quite get there, but definitely early returns on Sam Darnold seemed to be encouraging. Put some weapons around him. You know, new coach, fresh perspective. That might that might do it. That might put put the Jets in a good position sooner for much sooner rather than later. We got speaking of the Jets, Deontay Burnett. D. Porter saying, "Here's who's retiring." He thinks that Gronk, Brady, and Big Ben are going to retire after the Super Bowl. Another jet for Michael. I think Brady's going to keep... Gronk might retire. I can see that. I don't think Big Ben's going to retire. I think he's... I think he's going to be the guy that just keeps hanging around until... Until he's... Until he's forced out. Rashawn Golden, one of one Super Bowl ticket autograph. This superb owl going to DMAC. Darren McKenzie, who got randomized the Panthers. Nice one of one. I think this is our first Super Bowl ticket autograph we've seen in all the boxes that we've opened, all the autographs that we've seen. Nice. Darren McKenzie, DMAC, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, DeVige is like, y'all wish Brady was retiring. Yeah, I don't think he's retiring. I think he, I, yeah, I think he'll go for a couple more seasons. Roquan Smith, rookie ticket auto. Steel Curtain, Steelers fan, of course. Ben's not retiring. Yeah, I can't see Big Ben retiring. I feel like he, my opinion, from a neutral perspective, all the way here in California, it seems like, it seems like he still feels like there's some unfinished business. Like this season was kind of derailed by, by Le'Veon Bell a little bit. Now he's not going to blame Le'Veon Bell, but just there's just been some weird distractions. Things, things just didn't really go right. But they still have a solid team. Cortland Sutton is your Rookie of the Year Contenders autograph. RPS going to the Broncos. Patrick Hay with a little oppo Joe mojo. Stephen K saying Brady's going to play until he has every passing record. I could see that. Out of 49, Deshaun Watson. And we'll sleeve and top load all those serial numbered cards before they go out. All right, so Sean has the odds for Le'Veon Bell. Jets plus 300. Raiders plus 500. Philadelphia plus 700. Tampa Bay plus 700. Indianapolis plus 900. New England plus 3,300. If I'm a betting man, and I am, I I I put a little bit on that Philadelphia plus seven hundred, seven to one odds. Eagles, there's playoff ticket autograph Duran Payne. Now this is with no knowledge of cap situations at all. Um, I think Raiders would have space, but I'm not quite sure if they're going to do that just yet. Um. That's Saran House of Pain going to Tom Richard. Uh, your daughter is saying, "I'm you're being mean to me." 
I feel like I'm being mean to you, Darren. McKenna, your dad's not being mean to me. This is banter. You'll banter like this with your friends as well someday. All right, second to last box. Yeah, I like I, I like Philadelphia. I don't know what the, their cap situation is, but I feel like I feel like they need that. You know, Darren Sproles isn't getting younger. They're trying to piece together a running game. You know, I think uh, I think they would like to see a Le'Veon Bell there. I don't think they need to add. I don't think they need to add uh, too much, right? McKenna, is your dad mean to you? How old is McKenna? Is your dad mean to you? And whenever your dad's mean to you, McKenna, you can just be like, hey, Joe Jaspi says don't be mean to me. I don't think Tampa Bay... Maybe... I think... Maybe... In, Reggie, what do you think? Plus nine, nine to one odds that Le'Veon Bell goes to the Colts. Reggie's our, our resident Colts guy. Our Colts correspondent. Would the Colts do that? You, I think Reggie was mentioning that they have a lot of cap space. That could be interesting. Oh, I see. She's 10. And she says, no, not me. Just annoying. <laughs> yeah. You're already not cool, Darren Porter. You're already not cool. This is what happens. At one point, you were probably a cool dude, Darren. Got kids, you know, all that stuff. And now you just realize how uncool you are. It's like, geez, Dad, being so uncool with the cool guy on YouTube. Man. Stop embarrassing yourself, Dad. Jeez. McKenna, your dad was probably cool at some point. Isn't that kind of scary? <laughs> Malik Jefferson bangles going to Sean Cole. Sean has Sean said he had more odds if he got tired of typing them in. No, no that's good. I think th those are some pretty solid ones. You don't need to go to the plus 5,000 range. Al saying there was talk of Hunt talking to the Colts when he was a, when or if he was when he would be allowed back. Yeah, it'd be interesting. I mean, Colts look like they took a pretty big jump with a with a hundred percent healthy Andrew Luck. There is Dylan Contrell, sixty four to eighty four to his jersey number. All these ticket stub edge ones are to their jersey number. That goes to the bolts. That'll be for Anthony Hyanga with the lightning bolts. Colts have Marlon Mack, Darren's saying, but if you had a chance at No, that's not him. If you had if you had a chance at Le'Veon Bell, wouldn't you take him and still have Marlon Mack? I would. I wouldn't turn that down. I wouldn't be like, no thanks, Le'Veon Bell. We've got Marlon Mack. If I have a chance to add him, I would. MVP contenders. Wow. Russell Wilson autograph. Three out of five. Jersey number. Out of, we never hit the jersey number. Who has the Seahawks in this? Nicholas Kasberg. Woo. With the Hawks of the Sea. Wow. That is strong. Very strong. Three out of five, and all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! What a hit. Bengals. Cat Team Mojo for Sean Cole and the Bengals. Sam Hubbard.
Yeah, <laughs> Nicholas Casper, all he can say is, wow. That's a nice hit, sir. Congrats. There's Joey Bosa for the Lightning Bolts out of 175. Hey, no worries, man. Thanks for getting in. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Five more autographs to go here in Random Team 15. At the end of this break will be a randomizer for the uh, Superb Owl Square. And then in a separate video, there will be the randomizer for the Mixer Spot, a $500 value. Nicholas, that jersey number is key. That's a nice one. I think it's been a minute or two since we pulled a legendary contender's auto, and certainly nothing that low number. What, what does that go for on, on a secondary market? Jersey number Russell Wilson autograph out of contenders? We'll randomize these to one person in the break as well. So the name on top in the randomizer will get this, and the second name will get the 250. Kyle Kramer saying the cracked ice autos of Russell Wilson are stupidly overpriced. So it'll go for a good amount. All right. There you go. Congrats, Nicholas Kyle. I'm sure it'll, I'm sure it'll easily cover the spot. Good luck, everybody. Last box. First autograph from the last box is Durham Smythe. Remember, we're only going to have four because the point, unless it's an above average box, we only have four autos. The points usually take care of, um, replace an auto. And Harrison Phillips, rookie ticket auto for the Bills. David F. with that. And we've got nice Anthony Miller. Rookie ticket on card autograph. Four to his jersey number. Four out of 17. For the Bears. Brian Crouch with the Bears. Nice. I'd like to see how he evolves next season. Trubisky to Miller could be the call for years to come. And another Dolphin, Minka Fitzpatrick this time. So two Dolphins in the box for D. Porter. There you go, Darren. And we've got Rashawn Evans. So that, that's actually one, two, three, four. And here's your fifth autograph. So this is actually an above average box with the extra points. Jamon Moore to 25. And there you go. Trubisky at the end. 
Al's thinking... Al's thinking Russell Wilson, Vet Auto to 10, $400 range. That'd be pretty cool. All right, let's do these randomizers. In the next video, we'll have a, a randomizer for the mixer spot. But for this one, just the Superb Owl Square spot. Which will, which will list right down there. All right, so let's get random.org going here. Left, right. And then everyone has a shot from Darren down to Richard, Tom Richard. Name on top gets the square, Superb Owl Square, and the uh, second name will get 250 points. All right, let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. One and a three, four times. Three and one, four. One, two, three, four. Left side. We'll get those round numbers cards. One and a three, four times for these names. One, two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time. After four times, top two. Let's see who they are. Sean, you'll get 250 points. And the winner of the Superb Owl Square, Kyle Kramer. There you go, Kyle. You are a Superb Owl. Congrats, man. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.